Students can use the EduSAP mobile application by downloading them from Android or iOS stores. They can log in to the application using the credentials that are the username and password provided by the institutions. While on logging in, the students are greeted with the regularly used modules that are present in their homepage. The homepage is equipped with online exam, homework, attendance, timetable, and report modules which are given as the shortcuts. And similarly, the food bar will be showcasing the homepage, event calendar, notice, and the student profile option. On the left side corner, the menu bar is listed. On pressing the menu bar, student can see all the modules which are listed for their use. Here, the menu bar is equipped with homework, online exam, video, live video, study materials, attendance, diary, mark sheet, mailbox, timetable, SMS history, and free modules. Let's see how each module will be working. First on, we'll just check the SMS history which will be listed with all the SMS which are received from the institutions. The fee module will be showcasing all the fee amounts which are paid, which are marked as paid and unpaid, which will be given in terms and the category wise. Timetable will showcase the daily timetable for the student. Mailbox facilities will showcase all the mail which will be received from the institution. Similarly, the students will be received with their attendance, daily attendance from the attendance module and the diary will showcase all the daily entries which is given from the teachers. As well, the mark sheets will be showcasing the marks which are the students received on their different tests. There will be a detailed view which will be showcasing the grades and their status that is they are passed or failed in completely including their percentages. Now let's move on to the learning management modules which are listed in their class. So here as a learning management module we are greeted with live video sessions, video sessions, study materials, homeworks and online exam sessions. So first let's see how we can join into a live video module. On clicking the live video module, student will be greeted with all the scheduled modules for that particular day and all the listed which they have attended previously. By pressing the subjects, we can move on to the subject quiz list. From the category, student can press the join button and join directly to the video class at the correct time. By pressing the video modules, they are greeted with the different recorded videos which are given to them. Hi. On pressing the homework menu, they will be listed with all the homeworks which are pending, submitted, etc. completed by the students. The painting will showcase the list that they have to submit and the submitted will be showcasing the list which is submitted by the students and the completed list is already that we have completed and submitted along with the due date also cleared. On pressing the painting option, we will be greeted with a view of whatever the messages are given to the students. Student can either type in their response or can submit and in a, in a camera taken picture or from gallery or they can attach the files which have to be submit.
next we'll move on to the study materials study materials also will be showcasing the notes and modules which are given to them on subject based here student can click and view the notes and can use the notes for their future references The final learning management module is the online exam module which the student can attend at any time. Like right? they have listed with the new testers, the completed testers and the exams which is expired they have not attended. I'm pressing they can start the test they can attend the exams